فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم So one doctor he said that this is not true Ibn Hazm never said this We'll say to him Ibn Hajar rahimahullah kana akthar minka mutala'atan Ibn Hajar had more itila' and observational statements so may he may have come across it in a copy that you've not seen it in. It could have been many manuscripts of the book which you never saw it. So it's important to keep that in mind. How is the author trying to use this hadith and how is he trying to extract evidence from it? He's trying to extract evidence from this hadith of Umar, Umar, Umar reading the Torah from three different ways. The first one is the messenger said to Umar أَمُتَهَوِّكُونَ يَا ابْنَ الْخَطَّابِ لَقَدْ جِئْتُكُمْ بِهَا بَيْضَاءَ نَقِيَّةِ The word أَمُتَهَوِّكُونَ means أَمُتَحَيِّرُونَ Are you confused? فَقَدْ جِئْتُكُمْ I have come to you with بِهَا بَيْضَاءَ نَقِيَّةِ I came with something clear and clean White this question, as I said before, is called istifhamul inkari. It's an interrogation, it's a question. But in the question, you're already negating something and you're, dis you're rejecting something already. Are you with me, brothers? When Allah said in the Quran, قُلْ هَلْ يَسْتَوِي الَّذِينَ يَعْلَمُونَ وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ To the ones who know and the ones who don't know, are they equal? Huh? This is called istifham bi ma'ana nafi. It's a question, but you're already negating the answer. No, it's impossible. Alayhi sallahu bi ahkami al hakimin. Alayhi sallahu bi ahkami al hakimin. Of course. It's a question, but no one even wants to know if you're going to answer it or not. It's a rhetorical question. The answer is already inside the question. So the messenger is asking Ibn Khattab, but he's rejecting the act of Ibn Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And the Prophet rejected that from him. The reason why is because you've got something better. As Allah said in the Quran, Are you going to exchange with something greater for something less? Would you do that? No. So you don't need anything and you don't require anything except I have come to clarify it for you. I came to you with clarity. The second point that the author is trying to take from this is If Musa was alive today and you guys followed Musa and you left me you would have all been misguided. Balal Tom, you're all misguided. If Musa was alive today, and you all went and followed Musa, and you didn't follow me, you're all misguided. That's Musa. Alayhi salatu was salam. The reason is because there is no guidance by the inzal al Qur'ani after the Qur'an came down. Except in the Qur'an. And the Qur'an sufficed us everything that's besides it the Quran has sufficed us from it the third is لو كان موسى حيا ما وسعه إلا اتباعي if Musa he himself was alive there would be no other path open for him except to follow me so Musa himself would, left, would have left everything and he would have come as a follower of mine. So if Musa would do that, and he's a Nabi min Anbiya illahi, a Prophet from the Prophets of Allah, and he's from the Ulul Azmi min al-Rusul, and it's Kareemullah, Allah spoke to him, then you should follow, and you should submit, and you should know that there's nothing else you need except that I came to you with it. And this shows Musa's already spoken to Allah, Musa is a prophet of Allah. He also knows that salvation is in the religion of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. 
What about the person who thinks that it is in philosophy and what not? Naam. The author, rahimahullah, he clarifies the ruling of leaving. حكم الخروج عن الإسلام بالانتساب إلى غيره. The ruling of naming yourself other than the name of, I'm attributing yourself to other than that which the Sharia has given you, the names in which He gave you. What is the ruling? To leave it and to attribute, to your, attribute to yourself other than it. The author mentioned four evidences for this. Giving yourselves other namings by calling yourself Tablighi Mathalan or calling yourself Hizb Ta'reel Mathalan or calling yourself this or that names other than the names which the Sharia gave you what's the ruling? the author mentioned four evidences here he says the first evidence Qawluhu Ta'ala the statement of Allah هو سماكم المسلمين من قبل وفي هذا. He is the one who called you Muslims before. وفي هذا it means أي وفي القرآن in the Quran. The author is trying to use this for the chaptering by saying that the ayah clearly states that which Allah سبحانه وتعالى called us is what. Allah called us Muslims. That is what is found in the Quran. And trying to give yourself a name other than the name of Al-Islam. It is khurujun an da'aw al-Islami. It is leaving the title in which Islam gave to you. Because Allah knows you better. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was pleased with this name for you. So this name is safer, and this name is wiser. The second evidence is Hadith al-Harith al-Ash'ari radiyallahu ta'ala anhu an Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that the author brought. Annahu qala that the Prophet said, A'murukum, I command you bi khamsin five. Ahmad narrated this, Tirmidhi narrated it and he authenticated it, and Nasa'iyu narrated it in his kubra. Ibn Khuzayma authenticated it. Ibn Hibban authenticated it. Hakim and Naysaburi authenticated it. It's a hadith which is Sahih Qat'an. And the way that the author, author is trying to use this hadith for the chaptering is in three ways. One, the Messenger said, فَإِنَّهُ مَنْ فَارَقَ الْجَمَاعَةِ 
anyone who leaves the jama'ah, and jama'ah means the truth. shibrin, even a shibr. A shibr is what? Huh? Yeah? What did he say? Maybe. Arms spell, hey? Hand spam, hey? Forearm. Forearm. 100%. Yeah? yeah? Hey? Ha, hey, you see the dirah, hey? Shibri is what? It's a hand span. Do you take it from? Fakad <laughs> Khala'a. He has gone out of Ribqat al Islami. He is taken out of his neck from his Unuk, Islam. Illa an yuraja' unless he comes back. And that is by leaving the name. The word rib, ribqa in Arabic means urwatun tuj'alu fi unuqi dabati aw yadiha litamassukiha. It's something you place in the neck of the animal so you can grab it to hold it back. And he says, illa an yuraja'a until, until he comes back or he repents and he comes back from what he was upon. So, The name comes under this. Number two, وَمَنْ دَعَى بِدَعْوَ الْجَاهِلِيَّةِ Anyone who calls to a name of a name of jahiliyyah, فَإِنَّهُ مِنْ جُثَى جَهَنَّمْ Anyone who calls to a name of jahiliyyah, a name of jahiliyyah is a name of other than Islam. He is what? فَإِنَّهُ مِنْ جُثَى جَهَنَّمْ the word jutha is jam'u jithwatin. Jithwatin, bikasri al jimi. You can say jithwa, you can say juthwa, or if you want, you can say jathwa. It's from the muthallath. Three ways of saying it. And it means rocks, when you bring a lot of rocks together, it's hijaratul majmu'a. It means. Majmu'a, a group of people. You're going to be from the jama'ah of the hellfire. The group of people who are in the hellfire. Another riwayah says, Juthiyyi Jahannam. Which is another riwayah. Which is the jama'ah of Jathin. And it means the person who's on their knees. The person when he gets thrown into the hellfire, he will be thrown by his knees. That's where the other riwayah mentions. You're going to be from the people of Hellfire if you call your same to if you call your name yourself to names other than Islam. Diobandia falls here. Brelvia falls under here. Tabliq is called falls under every name other than the name which the Sharia gave you. The third way that the author is trying to take the evidence from here is. فَادْعُوا بِدَعْوَ اللَّهِ الَّذِي سَمَّاكُمْ الْمُسْلِمِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنِينَ عِبَادَ اللَّهِ Call yourselves بِدَعْوَ اللَّهِ The names of the, the callings of Allah in which He names you الْمُسْلِمِينَ Muslims وَالْمُؤْمِنِينَ and Mu'mins عِبَادَ اللَّهِ The slaves of Allah So here it's commanding us to call each other by the names which Allah gave us. Muslimin, Mu'mineen, Ibadallah. And the command here is Lil Ijab, that is wajib. Fad'u. You're being commanded. And the asal was what? That a command shows obligation. It shows obligation. So the person who calls himself other than this name, Fafi'luhu muharramun. His action is haram. Ashadda tahrim from the greatest forms of haram. If a person's carrying a name that is not even allowed, 
Shara'an, the name is wrong. Then why would you waste more time in knowing if their ideology is right? The third evidence that the author mentions, Rahimahullah, for this chapter is Man al Jama'ata Shibran. And we expanded on that on the previous, previous hadith. The fourth evidence, but the, this hadith mentions ma tamitatan jahiliya, that the person will die a death of jahili. Man farak al jama'ata shibran, famata, and then he dies. Famitatuhu jahiliyatun, his death is a death of jahiliya. The fourth evidence is the hadith where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he says, Abi da'wa al jahiliyyati wa ana bayna afurikum. Many people narrate it with that wording. Abi da'wa al jahiliyyati wa ana bayna afurikum. With these wordings. Oh, hadith on yurwa bihad al lafti. Many people narrate it like that. From who? Zayd ibn Aslam. Mursalan. Ind ibn Jarir Tabri fi tafsiri. Wa fi qissatun. There's a story regarding it. Well, it's not the but the chain is weak. This type of wording, the, this chain is weak. But the wording that's correct, which is in Sahihain, is Ma Balu Da'wa Al Jahiliya. That's the wording. And it's not in it, Wa Ana That wording is not there. Because as the story mentions, the Prophet wasn't there when they did this. Now pay attention. The name that they used for each other was a name that the Sharia actually accepted. Ansar and Muhajirin. It's a Shar'i term. But they used the term wrong. One said, Ya lil Ansar. He called on to the Ansar. And the other one looked at it and he said, Wa ya lil Muhajirin. The term, there's nothing wrong with it. But their usage was wrong. It got referred to as Jahiliyyah. Are you with me, brothers? So if the term is even right, but it gets used incorrectly, it becomes Jahiliyyah. Let alone one that's not even. It's not a Shari term. The author is trying to see, show from this hadith the inkar, that the fact that the Prophet rejected anyone who calls onto a jahiliya name. And what they said was, Ya lil Ansar, and the other ones they said, Ya lil Muhajirin. And today, if you look at it, the way that people use their countries and the nationality that they're from. Being a Pakistani, Somali, or whichever country you're from, using it to look down at other people. This is what we are, we're Somalis. Or we're these people, it falls under this. Tribes looking down at each other because of a lineage that you're from. The Prophet told us, Ali Salatu Salam, the one that pushes himself up due to his lineage and his background and his tribe that he's from, who thinks he's good because of that. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us that the beetle that takes the animal feces and turns it into a ball is better than him, than that person, who thinks his virtue is connected to a lineage and a people he's from. Islam honored Salman al-Farisi and it placed Abu Lahab, the Prophet's literal uncle, his dad's brother, in the hellfire. It's not about your lineage and where you're from. What honors you is your piety. 
Inna akramakum inda Allahi atqakum. The pious one amongst you is the one that's highest in the eyes of Allah. It is not where you're from or your color. It is the religion you possess. It's the salah time now. We'll pray inshallah ta'ala. The iqamah should go off in five minutes, less than five minutes.